All right, so this house was built way long ago, 60s, 70s, and it's got a lot of these two prongs. Well, I can't change the wiring in the wall, but what I can do is I can install a GFI so I can, I can have things like, uh, so I can plug things like this in, because that doesn't work very well in this one, but the only way to install a ground is to put a GFI in instead of install one of these. So you'll see me do that today. First thing you have to do is make sure there's no electricity. Second, remove the faceplate, which I've already done. Next, remove the screws that are holding this thing in place. Pull it from the wall. Now I can pull from the sides because I know the electricity is turned off. See, those are the old wires. Notice there is no ground wire coming out of there, just the black and the, the white cables. So I will cut these on both sides, and then I will attach it to the back of this. On the back side, it says that the ones underneath this label are the ones without ground fault protection. Oh, excuse me. It says the load terminal under this label are for feeding additional receptacles. So if I attach wires to this side, they will be protected, whatever where that wire is going to, will be protected by this GFI. However, if I attach all wires here at this bottom side, any wires downstream of here will still get the same power regardless of whether this trips or not. That's actually what I'm going to do because I don't want all wires in the wall to be protected by this one with a ground fault indicator. I'd rather put one of these GFIs at each outlet that requires a ground because I don't have any way of having the ground here be attached to the others to protect it necessarily. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna install this one in, in its place. And here we go. Okay, you're gonna need something like this. This is my trusty dusty uh, electrical pliers or whatever it's called, I don't care. But it does the job. See, you got the gauges at the top and this is gonna allow me to cut those wires. There we go. Now I have to go over the top of these wires and cut off the protective sleeve enough that I have wire to put into the new outlet. It's hard to do one-handed. There we go. So I gotta leave about that much for me to install this thing. Okay, now I've got all these wires ready and I'm going to do the attachment. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna leave that little I'm gonna leave this little tag on here. It makes it easy for me to know which one to put it on and which one not. See, it's got two openings right here on the hot side and it's got two openings here on the white side. So once I, I'm gonna slide those in, they go underneath this bracket, tighten down the screw and slide it in. It's pretty easy. So black on this side, white on that side. It even tells you, hot and white. All right, I've gone ahead and got them attached. There you go, it's pretty easy. All right, I got the two wires in on that side, two wires in on that side. Now I just push all these in. I bend it so they all go in nice and neat. And then I screw it on and then put the uh, the cover on. And there you go. Put that in, I put that in, and we are good to go. Now I have something I can plug this into. Yay! Yay! 